Even though our motorhome turned 12 years old this spring, we're eager to keep it looking as new as possible, so we apply a good coat of high-quality automotive wax once a year and do our best to keep it clean and shiny. We've been full-timing for over 14 years, and during the first 12 years, we washed our RV ourselves whenever we had the opportunity. Since many RV parks prohibit vehicle washing, we'd often go to a self-service car wash with a high clearance or outdoor bay that can handle large vehicles. But with water restrictions becoming more and more common, especially in the desert southwest, we decided to try another option. A couple of years ago, we were camped in a particularly remote boondocking location for an extended period and got the RV about as dirty as it ever gets. Since we camp off the grid a lot, we're used to being dirty. Our rig isn't always as clean as it looks in our videos. For boondockers, it just goes with the territory. But our next destination was a really nice RV resort with paved roads and sites, and the weather was forecast to be beautiful for weeks but they don't allow washing. If we showed up with the rig looking like this, all that dirt would just bake in the sun during our entire stay, so we really wanted to get everything cleaned up before our arrival. We warned you, this thing is really dirty. Leaving all this dirt on the paint isn't especially good for the finish. Plus, we really hate having the rig this dirty when we're back in civilization. It's one thing for it to be filthy in the boonies, where there's nothing you can do about it but this baby's due for a bath. We'd heard about RVers going to truck washes, but we'd never considered it before. So we decided it was time to give it a try. Our very first experience was with Blue Beacon, which we knew specifically handles RVs as well as trucks. We'd read about other RVers who use them routinely and only heard good things. This was an especially large location with a very long entrance drive to handle lots of vehicles and multiple wash bays. We lucked out that day since there wasn't anyone else online, so we got right in without waiting. That's not always the case, especially in heavily traveled areas. Just drive right into the wash bay. You don't even have to disconnect the toad first. Then pull forward until they signal for you to stop. After you go into the office to let them know what services you want and pay the bill, you can sit back and relax while a team gets to work attacking the dirt from all sides with power washers and soft brushes, like the one we use ourselves. Some locations even have water nozzles on the ceiling that rinse excess dirt off the roof. Having someone else wash the RV made us feel pampered, since it was the very first time that anyone had ever touched our motorhome besides us. We were just so used to doing it ourselves that this seemed like a real luxury. It took all of about 10 minutes to do what would have taken us a lot longer, even if we'd had a suitable place to do it. Now, of course, they don't scrub the roof like we do. And they don't open and clean inside any compartments, like the generator or the engine bay. But those areas don't need to be detailed every time, and we still handle them ourselves. Prices and services vary depending on location, but for an RV our size, we spend about $40 for a wash. For a little more, we usually have them do the car at the same time, which is great, especially when the toad is just as dirty as the RV. Since we don't have to disconnect anyway, they just wash the whole thing as one big rig. After you pull out of the wash bay, some locations offer optional towel drying, which we've taken advantage of a couple of times. They did a good job drying us off with microfiber towels, although the spot-free rinse water they use seems to make it mostly unnecessary. So the real test is, how clean is it? As particular as we are about our rig, we have to say, we were pretty impressed. They cut through all the dirt, didn't miss any spots, and made things look great again. The fact that we keep a good coat of wax on the RV helps a lot, since it comes clean really easily as a result. What a difference. And since we didn't even have to disconnect the toad, and opted to have it washed at the same time, our entire rig looks great. Now we're ready to show up at our destination looking respectable. Of course, just like taking your car to a car wash, you're not going to get the same deep level of clean that you could if you did it yourself. But we were surprised at how good it was and were really pleased, especially considering the cost, 
speed, and lack of effort required. We've used truck washes about a half dozen times now, most of them Blue Beacons, which is our favorite so far. Not every location we've been to has been as good as others, but overall, we're happy enough to use them again, even if we're in a place where we can do it ourselves. On some newer RVs, they recommend using only lamb's wool for washing, so be sure to follow your manufacturer's instructions, which might preclude you from using a truck wash. We've been using a soft brush on this rig for 12 years with no problem, but that may not be appropriate for your RV. Know your rig and proceed accordingly. If you do try out a truck wash, we'd suggest only using ones that specifically say they also wash RVs and avoiding ones that use mechanical brushes. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Safe travels and thanks for watching.